हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम सुदर्शन आई एम थर्ड ईयर एमबीबीएस स्टूडेंट एट वी डी जे लातूर एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज एंटी कोलिनर्जिक ड्रग्स दैट इज अट्रोपिन सब्सटीट्यूट्स सो व्हाट आर द क्वेश्चंस दैट आर आस्क्ड इन योर एग्जाम रिगार्डिंग एंटी कोलिनर्जिक ड्रग्स दे विल आस्क यू अबाउट द डेफिनेशन मैकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन एंड अट्रोपिन सब्सटीट्यूट्स इनमरेट अट्रोपिन सब्सटीट्यूट्स एंड देर यूजेस and also they ask you the classification for classification check out my uh, check out my new video on anti cholinergic drug classification and remaining all points i will cover in this video only so let's start we will go one by one first of all definition of anti cholinergic drugs the drugs that block the muscarinic receptor mediated actions of acetylcholine on heart smooth muscle and exocrine glands are called as anti cholinergic drugs atropine is a prototype prototype drug of uh, anti cholinergic drugs and atropine substitutes the definition of atropine substitutes is the drugs that are used for selective action on particular organ and to avoid the undesirable side effects of atropine so basically atropine acts on many organs and causes undesirable side effects in case of atropine substitutes they have selective action on a particular organ so there is uh, less chances of undesirable undes side effects then mechanism of action of anticholinergic drugs or atropine substitutes so uh, atropine or atropine substitutes they competitively blocks the muscarinic effects of acetylcholine that is this mechanism is called as competitive antagonism in this case uh, for muscarinic receptors atropine and its substitutes act as antagonist and acetylcholine act as a agonist next various examples of atropine substitutes so basically 12 examples are there first of all homotropin cyclopentolate tropicamide uh, dicyclomine oxybutynin tolterodine flavoxate ipratropium bromide teotropium bromide pyrenzepine benzexol benzotropin and glycopyrrolate how to remember this check out my video on uh, classification of anticholinergic drug uh, you will remember this easily next uh, so homotropin and cyclo homotropin cyclopentolate and tropiamide are for uh, eyes guys and uh, dicyclomine oxybutynin tolterodine and flavoxate these are uh, anti spasmodic atropine substitutes next next the uses therapeutic uses of atropine substitutes and then ha huh, the trick to remember this is ips bapurao okay very funny trick again Uh, I for iridocystitis cyclitis, I for iridocyclitis, P for pre-anesthetic medication, S for siluria, B for bronchial asthma and COPD, A for antispasmodic in dysmenorrhea, and uh, P for uh, Parkinsonism, U for urinary incontinence, and R for refraction testing, and V for vagolytic. So we will go one by one. First of all, iridocyclitis. Myriatics like cyclopentolate and tropicamide are used in this case. They break or prevent the adhesion between iris and lens. This is called as irido. In in case of iridocyclitis, there is adhesion between iris and lens, and these drugs, cyclopentolate and tropicamide, they will break or prevent the adhesion between iris and lens. Next is as a pre anesthetic medication. as pre anesthetic medication atropine or glycopyrrolate are used they prevent the vagal bradycardia during anesthesia and they prevent the laryngospasm also next is siluria as for siluria uh, glycopyrrolate is used it uh, decreases the excess salivary secretion in the heavy metal poisoning cases next is b for bronchial asthma and copd ipratropium bromide and teotropium bromide are used Uh, they are used by inhaler or nebulizer uh, administration next is a for antispasmodic in dysmenorrhea they are used as a antispasmodic in dysmenorrhea cases next is parkinsonism in parkinsonism centrally acting uh, drugs are used that are benzexol and procyclidin uh, they are used in drug induced parkinsonism and u for urinary incontinence in this case tolterodine is used uh, because it has selective action on the bladder and then refraction testing atropine homotropine cyclopentolate and tropicamide are used in this case these two drugs are more important cyclopentolate or tropicamide next is uh, as a vagolytic 
Atropin is used as a vagolytic in the sinus bradycardia and partial heart block. It improves AV conduction and vagal activity. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel.